NUP party supporters were waiting for their president, Robert Chagulanyi, as he approached Arua city. Some roads leading to the city centre had been blocked, but Chagulanyi travelled through the outskirts to get to a youth division headquarters where he addressed the gathering. They complained about security agencies blocking the access to the intended venue at Arua Primary School and access to their offices. They even blocked us from accessing our radio station. They made us pass behind the town. They blocked us from going into the town. But thank you for assuming them and coming here in very large numbers. Today, they thought, they thought by refusing our president to speak from town, people will not follow him. Chagulan spoke about the events in 2018 during the campaign for Cassiano Waduri, where he said he survived the death but lost his driver Yasin Kawuma to a bullet. So when I survived that bullet, that is when I decided that there is no turning back. He said the absence of a stable power supply has drained development in the West Nile region. But there is no stable power supply in this city. Right from the days more than 10, 15 years ago when I used to come here with Nubian Lee to play music. That, um, the problem of electricity, Arua itself as a region, West Nile as a region, has never been connected to the national grid of electricity, despite uh, all the work that is being done. Chagulanyi also spoke of high taxes which have failed small-scale businesses from taking advantage of cross-border trade. Arua is a border town. Arua ni town ya zi border the land. Arua is a border town. Arua ni town ni border the land. There are many small businesses which survive by tapping into the trade on the border. And the biasara mingi mingi survive. Pia rude babi ni matilen da azore he survive. But instead of the government supporting your hustle and your small businesses. Kadi gamete ni mi biasara atizuiri mapariya. They have decided to put so many heavy taxes and big license fees on you. Chagulanyi has concluded the first phase of the nationwide mobilization tour as the police also announced a ban. Jumakiria, NTV in Arua.